I'd like you to turn to the person closest to you. You're gonna need to be paired up to play this brief little game. And between the two of you, I'm gonna ask you to do something which normally is considered bad etiquette at an event, which is to get out your phone. Now, between the two of you who are seated next to each other, and if you have a friend, or if you're about to introduce yourself to a stranger, I'd love one of you who can get their phone out to uh, just open up to where you can write a text. Uh, it, you don't need to write a text to anyone, though if you hit send on what we're about to do, they may end up very confused. <laughs> now, what I'd like you to do between the two of you is, you're going to help me come up with some numbers, okay? Here's the way it's going to work. Choose between the two of you who will be the first player, and I'd like that person to choose a number between one and four, and then just write it on your phone. One, two, three, or four. Go ahead and write it anywhere on your phone. Once you've done that, it isn't secret, so you can actually show the person you're playing with. Now, player one by now has chosen a number. Player two, could I ask you to raise your hand once you know what your opponent's number is? Okay, I, I'll know you're ready when half the room has their hands up. Okay, fabulous, thank you. If you just raise your hand, you're player two, and you're gonna do something very similar to player one. You're also gonna choose a number between one and four, but you're going to add that number on to whatever number your friend, new friend, just told you. So for instance, if player one had chosen the number two, and you have chosen the number three, what I'd like you to now write down, just so you don't have to keep it in your memory, is two plus three, which is Five. Can you go ahead, player two, and write your new number? You can choose whatever you like, as so long as it's between one and four. One, two, three, four. Okay. Now, this is the way the game is going to go back and forth. But you only need to know one more rule to play this game and complete it, which is the rule that tells you how to win this game. Because I did tell you you were opponents, and one of you is about to win this game. Here's the way it works. The astute among you will have noticed this game is a name. It is called the game of 23. One of you eventually is going to be the one who can write down the number, type the number 23. That person, after a certain number of terms, they will be crowned the winner. We only have enough time for one game, which upsets me because we could learn a lot more if we played a few. But will you please indulge me for the next 60 seconds, go back and forth until someone hits 23? And then wave your hand at me when someone wins, please. I presume by now there are winners and there are losers. I won't make you self-identify, it's fine. Here's what I'd like you to do with me. Have a look at your phone where you played that game and look at the numbers that you both typed. I have an important question to ask of you that requires you to see those numbers. Here's the question. Would you please raise your hand if at any point during the game your opponent, the person you're playing against, raise your hand if they ever typed the number 18. Did this happen to anyone? Hands up. It should have been a few of you at least. Okay, a few hands. All right, thank you. Hands down, right? Now, if this didn't happen to you, just play pretend with me. Imagine that it did, okay? Now, if it did, I'm just going to make a prediction about what happened between you when this took place in the game. Your friend uh, wrote down the number 18. They passed the phone to you and then you looked for a moment, and then you paused. <laughs> and then you said, um, Greg, I know we've just met, I like you, but I don't wanna play this game anymore, <laughs> right? Because what you've realized is, having written down 18, your friend, well, they're not their friend, your friend anymore, are they? They've just won. Because there is nothing you can do, no number you can choose, that will stop them winning the game. Now, for me, <laughs> This is the mathematics that matters. Mathematics that helps me understand why is it that in fact, this was not at all the game of 23, was it? It was actually a game all along about 18. Except if you're starting to realize now that I lied to you when I introduced the game, if the game of 23 is not really about 23, it's about 18, then perhaps the cogs are turning and you've realized a game of 18 is not about 18 either. In fact, it's about something much earlier, which I will leave as an exercise to the reader for you to discover.